let's set up an FTP account for GoDaddy. Go to GoDaddy.com. Click the login button to the top right. Enter in your username or your customer account number. Enter in your password. To the top right you'll see hi and whatever your name is. Click visit my account. Scroll down till you see web hosting. Open it. Click the green button that says launch next to your web hosting plan. This is what you're looking at the control panel for your web hosting plan. Give you uh, tools for uh, quite a few different options, but we're just going to use. Well, with the FTP manager, you can uh, you can either set up an FTP account or you can use the file manager. File manager allows you to upload files uh, through your internet browser. The FTP account allows you to use an offline program like FileZilla that will communicate directly with your uh, your server. So let's click FTP users under settings. Click add. Okay, so uh, create a username. You'll want to follow the rules that are dictated to the right here until you get all the green check marks. And uh, this is really important the access level. Uh, by default, it will create a subdirectory, whatever your username is. Now, when you go to log in through your FTP, you might notice that you're looking at an empty folder on the server. That's because of by default, it just gives you access to one folder. So make sure you click all folders. Create a password. Make sure they match. So mine aren't matching. There we go. Passwords match, as you can see. Going to click OK. Now you'll see it's going to populate for a few seconds where it's creating the account. Once the account's created, it will say Setup in the status column. While this is being created, let's go jump over to Google so we can download an FTP program. I recommend FileZilla. Type in FileZilla. Click under the sublink download, or you can click on the main site and uh, and you'll see a download button. But you should also just type it into Google. You'll see a little download site link. See, this is taking a, a few a few minutes here. FileZilla, once it installs just like any other program on a Windows operating system, once you've installed FileZilla, uh, you should see the FileZilla program in your start menu, or you should see it as a desktop icon. So let's go back to the screen. This is FileZilla right here. Um, if I click download now and I follow the download steps, um, once it, the program is installed, I'll see it in my start menu. Since I already have it on my computer, I'm not going to reinstall it. I'm going to open FileZilla. And let's see if this is done yet. It doesn't look like it's finished being set up. So I'm going to pause this video. We're going to come back in a second when it's, pop, when it's, uh, when it's finished being set up. Okay, so it looks like GoDaddy set up the new FTP account with the username newcut and a password that I've created. We're going to close this out. I'm going to grab the server address. 
see the IP address here, copy and paste that. Make sure there's no white spaces uh, to the right or left. What I mean by that is when you highlight it, just make sure that the blue highlight hugs the corners of the numbers. Um, sometimes when you uh, copy something, it will accidentally grab a white space. Uh, but it doesn't look like with GoDaddy that it's going to allow that. So really don't worry about it. Just copy the server IP address. Now there's a couple ways when you open up your FileZilla FTP program that you can connect to the server. One is just through... Um, it's a really quick way uh, through this top bar right here or you can click file site manager and click new site and build a list of sites um, but just to make it quick let's go ahead and just copy and paste this and the username is new right? password so just uh, type in the information you just use to create the account and did you see how up top here it uh, went through a lot of green and blue processes um, if if you uh, see red up here uh, red font uh, it's because of it's having trouble connecting but you can see to the right here it quickly populated a lot of folders now this is what a server uh, looks like it's a bunch of folders and a bunch of files and this is what it looks like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Create a new subdirectory called test. Okay. I'm going to go down to this subdirectory and open up test. And this is just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, where I'm at right now is called the root directory. Um, when you connect to GoDaddy, you're connecting to the root directory. And you can just upload files here and then go to your domain name, and the files will appear here. Um, with uh, websites, each uh, time you upload files, uh, it's the index file that resolves as the home page. So, uh, for example, what you're looking at on the left column here is my local files on my computer. Index, uh, always name it index.html, index.php, index.asp. The most common is index.html, and that will always be your home page. Uh, but this is another website here on the right, so I'm going to just uh, upload these files to a test folder really quick. Oh, and what I did just now is I basically uh, clicked over CSS and then I held down the shift key on my keyboard and then clicked toward the bottom so it hi highlights all of them. And then I right clicked my mouse and then I left clicked upload. And uh, Or you can just double click, you double left click it and, uh, and it will upload. But that's a quick way to upload uh, what I just showed you. That's a quick way to upload multiple files. So let's go to our domain. Um, forward slash test forward slash and as you'll see this is the website uh, from the test site that I just uploaded you can see it here right here locally and uh, here it is the, the files we just uploaded uh, please if you enjoyed this um, tutorial please click the like button and subscribe I'm trying to put out three to five new videos a week and uh, there will be short videos like this on how to do some basic uh, website uh, repairing and website building. Thank you.